Hello everyone, we're from the West Suffolk Community Cardiac Rehabilitation Team. My name is Matt, I'm the exercise instructor for the team. And I'm Jodie, one of the cardiac nurses. And we're here to do your seated and assisted standing exercise with you today. Now before we do anything, make sure you've had a look for that checklist that can be found below this video, or if you're within our service, it can be found in your patient booklet. Now as I say, we're going to do a seated and an assisted stand version of the exercise today, so you just need to follow whoever is keeping you within your own comfortable limits. You can transition between the two of us as we progress through the exercise. So if you find things are getting a little bit difficult with the standing, you can come to the seated version. And if you're finding the seated quite easy, you can transition onto the standing. At any point, all right, you can just shuffle back in the chair if you're doing the seated version and have a little relax, just keeping those toes moving. And you have a bit of recovery if you feel you're needing it. And then when you're ready, you can come back to the front of the chair and then continue with the exercise. But do what is right for you, and as we say, keep within your comfortable limits. Good, so the structure of the session is going to be a 10 minute warm up, a 10 minute conditioning phase, and a 10 minute cool down. So, with the warm up, all right, we just want to make sure that we're moving through that Borg scale. So, moving from that extremely light area up towards that light for the warm up. As we go into the main phase, into the conditioning phase, we want to be maintaining it around that light to somewhat hard area. So you can carry on a good conversation, but you definitely know your breathing's up and you're feeling a bit warmer while doing it. And then as we move into the cool down, we just want to bring it back down the gears, back down to that extremely light over the last 10 minutes. During the conditioning phase in the middle, we're going to do one minute aerobic or cardiovascular activity, followed by one minute active recovery. For the active recovery exercises, you can use a couple of light weights, a couple of tins of beans, or, as Jodie's showing you, a couple of bottles of water. Now a 500ml bottle of water will be about half a kilogram, and a litre bottle of water will be about a kilo. So just use what is right for you. Good, so if you're feeling well, you've had a look for that checklist, we're gonna start doing some exercise. All right, very good everyone. So we're gonna start with the warm up now. So for those of you sitting, just hip roll yourself to the front of the chair, sitting nice and upright. Try and maintain this position as we go through the session. Any point you need a bit of time to relax, you can just ease towards the back of the chair. Keep those toes tapping away. And then when you feel ready, you can carry on by coming back to this working zone and carry on with the exercise. Those of you following Jodie for the assisted standing, use the back of the chair for support as we go through. Good, so we're gonna start off with some his simple heel raises for me, all right? Just raise those heels up. Remember to keep everything with your own comfortable limits as you do the exercise session today. Good, just raising those heels nice and slowly. We're just warming the body up, preparing the joints, preparing those muscles, slowly bringing that heart rate up over the next 10 minutes. Good. Excellent, keep going a little bit longer for me. And we're gonna do four more, so four, three, two, one, and those of you following me, we're going to go into some little toe taps, tap those toes. Those of you standing, by all means, just go into a nice gentle walk on the spot. Excellent, so we're just going to keep doing this just for a little bit longer. Good, if you find it's a little bit tender down the front of your shins, you can go back into those heel raises if you want to, that's absolutely fine. And we're going to do four more, so four, three, two, one. One, and we're just going to hold it there. We're going to relax the arms down by the side, and we're going to give a swing of those arms. So, if you're doing the assisted standing version, you want to keep one arm in, in contact with the chair, that's absolutely fine, and you can just swing one arm by your side. Or, if you want to, you can just stick with the walk, that's absolutely fine. Just a bit of mobility through those shoulders, preparing yourself for the activity. Excellent, and we're just going to do a few more seconds. And three, two, one, very good, hold it there. And we're going to go for some heel digs out in front. So heels down to the floor, toes stay off the floor, take it all at your own comfortable pace. You might find after a little while of doing this, your thighs start to become a little bit achy, and you can just go back to your heel raises again, or your toe taps, as you see fit. Good, but keep going as best as you can, doing well. Already two minutes in. <laughs> Starting to feel warmer as well. Absolutely. Good, keep going for me. We're gonna do four more, so four, three, two, 
One, very good. And we're just going to go for a little march of those feet. So just march of those feet away. So make sure you don't bring your knees up too high, okay? Just a little march. And again, if you find that your thighs start to get a bit tired doing this, which I really can, then you can just go back to your heel raises and your toe taps until that's eased off, and then you can come back to the march again. Remember, keeping everything nice and comfortable. It's just the start of the warm up. Just pace yourself as you go. And again, we're going to do a few more seconds. And three, two, one. Very good. Hold it there. We're going to do some little taps out to the side. So taking the foot round to the side. Those of you standing behind the chair, just make sure you keep in contact with that chair. It's a bit of a challenge on your balance. Just taking those toes out to the side. If you find that your hips are a little bit painful doing this, that's absolutely fine. Go back to those heel digs out in front or just pedaling through those feet. That's absolutely fine. Just, again, do what's right for you. Good. Keep going. Doing really well. And we're going to do four more. So four, three, two, one. Very good. And we're going to come back to our march again. So marching those feet away. We're going to step things up a bit, all right, so we're going to relax the arms down by the side and as we march we're going to give those arms a bit of a swing as long as you feel comfortable to. Remember if you find yourself getting a little bit puffed, leave the arms out, just do the feet, that's perfectly fine as well. Good, all right, we're going to go back to those heel digs out in front, all right, so heel digging back out in front. And just to make things a little bit more difficult, all right, if you're feeling comfortable too, you can bring one of those arm curls in. So if you're using the chair for support, just stand up behind and obviously just keep one hand in contact with the chair as you go. You could do opposite arm, opposite leg if you find it easier. Not that many people do. <laughs> good, keep down. Really, really good. Excellent, and a couple more. Very good, and back to that march. Give those arms a bit of a swing if you can. And now we're gonna go for some toe taps out in front. So this time the toes are down to the floor, the heels are off the floor. Again, take it at your own comfortable pace. And as the foot goes out, if you want that bit more of a challenge, you can bring the same arm up in front, the same arm, same leg. Flexing those toes down to touch onto the floor as the hand comes out. Remember, you can leave the hands out altogether if you want. You can just do the feet. That's perfectly fine as well. Good. And again, four more. Three, two, one. And back to that march again. Give those arms a swing if you're feeling good. And a little bit faster if you can. We're over halfway now, doing really well. We're going to go back to those toe taps out to the sides, the toe tapping out to the sides, taking those feet out. Remember, if you want that alternative, doing the heel digs or the toe taps out in front, that's perfectly fine. And we're going to raise that hand out to the side if you're feeling well. Good. Taking it all at your own comfortable pace, your own comfortable range of movements, do what is right for you. Excellent. And four more. So four, three, two, one. And back to that march again. Good. A little bit quicker if you can. Well done, everyone doing really well. Those of you standing, as long as your feet are marching, we're quite happy. So do whatever's it most comfortable for you. If you're wanting to swing the arms along, then you're welcome to. Or if you find it more secure to hold on and just walk the feet, that's brilliant as well. All right, very good at one. All right, so we're just going to slow that pace down, drop the arms out for me. And we're going to bring those feet back to your heel raises. All right, so just raising those heels. 
slowing that pace down. We're going to move into the mobilization section now, all right? So arms down by the side, and we're going to get some shoulder rolls. So roll those shoulders back. Nice, big, slow movements. So you can do both shoulders at the same time if you feel able to, or if you want a bit of support from that chair, you can do one shoulder, and you can do the other shoulder afterwards. Good, and we're going to do a couple more. And last one, and relax those arms down. Very good, get those arms to shake out. Holding onto the side of the chair, just keep those toes tapping away nice and gently. So we're gonna release one hand and we're gonna just reach down to the side that we're reaching down to the floor and back up again. And again, same side, reaching down, hold onto the side of the chair so you don't topple over. Three, and we're gonna do one more on this side for four. Back up to the middle again, and we're going to go over to the other side. So reaching down, and two. So imagine we're reaching down to grab yourself a biscuit. Three, and four. You Very always, good. You always make me hungry with that one. <laughs> <laughs> Give your arms a bit of a shake out. Good, find a spot on the floor, and we're going to do some heel toes on that same spot. So ankle activator, so heel and toe on that same spot. So really try and flex those toes down. Good, and one more for me. Excellent, and we're gonna go onto the other side, so heel toe on that same spot on the other side. And three more, three, two, and last one, very good. And we're gonna go back to that march, give those arms a bit of a swing. Good, so we're gonna move into the rewarm section, and then we're gonna start the hard work. Good, so we're going to go back to those heel digs out in front for me. So heel digs out. Good, take it to where it's comfortable for you. And if you can, bring that arm back in. Bit of an arm curl. And I'm going to throw a curveball your way. And we're going to go for one, two, two on the same side, if you can. If you want to, you can carry on just as normal. But one, two, and then two on the same side. Excellent. One, two, and two on the same side. And one, two, two on the same side. One more for me, one, two, two on the same side. Excellent, back to your march again. A Little bit faster with your march now, give those arms a nice swing if you're feeling comfortable. I'm just gonna finish off with a little box step, so taking those feet out to the side, I'm gonna step forwards, forwards, and back, back. So Jody just comes to the side of the chair to show you the feet. And if you need to, all right, you can just bring the size of those movements down if you find it's a little bit too much for you and bring that pace down if you want to. For those of you finding it nice and easy, you can pop your hands in your lap, all right, and we can reach out hand, hand, and back in and back in. So reach, reach, and back in and back in as you go. If you're doing the assisted standing, you want to keep one hand or both hands in contact with the chair, that's absolutely fine, you can just do it one-handed. Excellent, and we're gonna do two more. Last one, very good, and back to our march again. All right, very good everyone. Just keep those feet pedaling away for me. We're gonna move into the main phase, into the circuit program now. Done absolutely fantastically. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit warmer. Grab yourself a drink if you need to, and then we're gonna move on to that main phase. Well done. Well done. All right, very good everyone. So we're gonna move into the main phase of our circuit program and we're gonna begin with some little toe taps out to the side. So we're gonna do a minute per exercise, okay, for the cardiovascular and also for the active recovery. So for this exercise, you can bring that hand back in, all right, taking it out to the side. You can make your movements a little bit bigger as long as you're feeling comfortable or you can reduce that movement down if you're feeling it's a little bit too much. Remember, for the main phase of our exercise as we go, we want to be working between that light and somewhat hard area on that ball scale, and we will remind you of that as we move through the program. Good. So remember also that if you find it's a little bit too much in your hips, you can just go back to that march any time, or just have a little relax in that chair, tapping those toes away, just again, just do what's right for you. As long as your feet are moving, we're quite happy. We are. We're easily pleased. We are. Last few seconds of this exercise, and then we're going to go into one of our active recovery exercises. 
Good, so we're gonna go into the bicep curls, all right? So grab your bottles of water, your tins of beers, or your little weights if you're being fancy. Make sure you keep those toes wiggling away. And we're gonna take the arms down by the side, tucking those elbows in, and we're just gonna bring those arms up and back down again, okay? So you can do one arm at the same time, or you can do both arms together, that's entirely up to you. We're aiming for three seconds up, three seconds back down. So three seconds up, and three seconds back down. 10 to 12 repetitions within this minute, all right? Try and maintain that posture, and also make sure you keep breathing. It's not too much to remember, is it? Not at all. Okay. Those of you standing, if you find it easier to just gently pedal the feet as you do it to aid with your balance, or if you'd rather follow Matt and do it seated, not a problem. Good, last few repetitions, doing really well. Good, slowly up, slowly back down. Hopefully you're feeling really isolated in that bicep muscle. Good, and last couple. Good, last one for me. Excellent, and relax there. Pop those weights down to one side. And we're gonna go into those little knee raises, so raising those knees up. Good, so make sure if you're doing a seated version, you're not bringing those knees too high, no higher than your waist, basically, if you're doing a standard version. If you find it is a little bit too much for you, you can go for some toe taps out in front. So to make this exercise a little bit more difficult, if you're doing the assisted standard version or you're doing a seated version of the knee raises, you can bring those hand movements in there. Remember, you can always keep one hand in contact with the chair if you need to. And for those of you doing the toe taps out in front, you can just bring that hand in. Excellent. We've got 20 seconds left, doing really well. Excellent. Moving to the last 10 seconds, and we're going to go back into one of those active recovery exercises. Excellent. All right, so grab your bottles of water and your weights for me. Good, we're going to hold one weight in each hand, tuck the elbows into the side, keeping those toes moving, remember. Then this time we're going to take those hands out to the side, like we're opening and closing a newspaper. And you feel the tension across the upper back as you open and close those weights in your hand. Good. Keep those toes up and away, keep breathing nice and comfortably. Nice slow controlled movement, three seconds out, three seconds back in. Good, well done everyone, doing well. Excellent. 20 seconds to go. So opening and closing. Any point that gets a little bit too much in those muscles, just relax down, pop those weights to one side and just carry on tapping those toes up until the end of the minute. Nearly there, one more for me. Excellent, very good. Pop those weights to one side. And we're going to go for those heel digs out in front again. So heel digging out in front. And if you'd like to, you can bring that bicep curl back in. So bicep curl in the way so that heel goes out in front. And if you're feeling really brave, you can go back to your one, your two, your two on the same side, just to jazz things up a bit. <laughs> I'll let you carry on with that one. Oh, thank you, Joe. You're almost <laughs> kind. <laughs> Excellent. Keep going for me, doing really well. We're over halfway through this minute now, doing absolutely fantastically. Remember, if you're finding it a little bit difficult, just bring that pace down, that range of movement down, or leave the hands out altogether. You can just do those heel digs out in front. Absolutely fine. Good. Last few seconds, we're going to go back to another one of our active recovery exercises. Very good, so just hold it there, keep those toes tapping away, grab your weights again, this time we're going to do something for the triceps, so we're going to have the arms down by our side, and we're just going to slowly take the arms behind, so take those weights out behind, and then relax down underneath again, alright, so it's a bit of a backwards arm press, so take those hands back, and back underneath, again, if you want to do one arm, if you want to keep one hand in contact with the chair, you can, or you can come and do the seated version with me, you're more than welcome to join me. <laughs> Keep those toes tapping away. Good. Keep going for me. Nice, slow movements all the way back and all the way back down. You should feel it down the back of your arm as you do this. Bit of tension in there. Shouldn't be painful at all. And if you do find that your muscles are fatigued, then just pop those weights to one side and you continue just marching through those feet until we're ready to start the next exercise. This one's particularly good for the old bingo wings. Absolutely. <laughs> 
<laughs> Love it. Last repetition for me, taking those hands out. And then back underneath again. Excellent. Very good. Pop those weights one side. And we're going to go into our box step. So feet out to the side and we're going to step forwards, forwards and back, back again. All right. So forwards, forwards and back, back. So a little bit quicker than we did before. And if you're finding that nice and comfortable, you can bring that corresponding hand in again if you want to. So forwards, forwards and back, back. So out, out and in, in with those hands. But if you're finding a little bit too much, leave the hands out or reduce that pace. Or reduce that range of movement with your feet. Doing really well. Well done everyone. Keep going for me. 20 seconds to go. So reaching out. Back in again if you can. Excellent. Coming into our last few seconds now. Excellent. And three, two, one. One, very good. Bring those feet back down to the middle. So keep tapping those toes or marching those feet. Your weights again, all right, just grab them. So we're gonna do the chest press now. So gripping both weights around where our chest is and all we're gonna do is we're gonna push out and back into the middle again. So pushing out and back into the middle. Good, as always, nice slow controlled movements as we do this. Aim for 10 to 12 repetitions. Make sure you're maintaining that posture while you're sitting there. Feel myself just slumping down slightly, so I better sit up nice and straight. That's a good example. Good. 20 seconds to go. Well done. So pushing out in front and relax in the middle again. Those of you standing, just keep your feet gently pedaling, or if you'd rather do this one seated, not a problem. Last couple of repetitions. Very good. Last one for me. Excellent, very good. Pop those weights to one side. We've got two more exercises to do. We're doing really well. We're going to go back to that march and we're going to finish off with those marching sprints. will be our last cardiovascular exercise. Almost made it through. Have indeed. So it's a really good time to have a think about that ball scale. Make sure you work between that light and somewhat hard, catching that breath slightly. If you're finding it's a little bit taxing now towards the end of the program, you can just keep on with this march. But if you feel you can push yourself on a little bit more, we're going to do a little sprint in three, two, one. Sprint those feet if you can. Good, and back to your march again. Very good, have a bit of recovery. And we're going to give her a few more seconds and we're going to do another little sprint. So, three, two, one. Sprint those feet. Very good, and back to your march again. We've got time, just time for one more. <laughs> and if you're ready, if you want to join in, one, two, three, spread those feet. Excellent, and back to your march again. Very good, keep those toes tapping away. Last resistance exercise, grab those weights one more time for us. We're going to pop the arms down by the side. We're going to do the lateral arm raises, taking the arms out, no hide in your shoulder, and then slowly back down again. So slowly out, and slowly back down. Good. So remember, maintain your breathing, keep those toes tapping as you do this. Now your shoulders, they're quite small muscles, so you might find they fatigue quite quickly. And that's absolutely fine. Again, pop those weights to the side and just continue tapping those toes. We're almost at the end of the exercise session now. We've done really, really well. We've just got another 10 seconds to go. It's a good Batman impression, this one. Yeah, you'd like that to finish I with. Do, I do, <laughs> Excellent. And we're going to do one more repetition. Out, no hide in the shoulder, and relax back down. Very good, pop those weights to one side. Very good, keep those toes tapping. That is your 10 minute circuit program complete. Grab yourselves a drink, you've done absolutely fantastically. And then we'll join us again, and we're gonna go into the cool down next. Well done everyone. Well done. All right, very good everyone. So we're gonna go into the cool down phase now. You've completed the circuit program, all right? So absolutely fantastic, well done. So remember for the cool down, we've been working around that light to somewhat hard. We're gonna bring it back down the gears towards that extremely light area over the next 10 minutes. So if you want to, if you're feeling a little bit tired now, you can join me for a fully seated version of the program. But those of you feeling a little bit more comfortable, okay, you can continue to follow Jodie for the next five minutes. And then we're all gonna to come together and do a seated finish, all right? So we're gonna finish off with a bit of strengthening and some of those stretching exercises, all right? 
So, keeping those feet marching as we go into the cool down. So, you're going to go for those heel digs out in front again for me. The heel digs out. Slowing that pace down. Leave the arms out of the exercise now, right? It's just all about the legs. Any point you want to take a little bit more of a rest, you can just bring those feet back to the middle. Just keep those feet pedaling. That's absolutely fine. You've done really, really well. I'm sure your legs are getting a bit tired now. <laughs> we are as well. So uh, <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> it's hard work on the chair, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Good. All right. I'm just going to do a few more. And four, three, two, one. Very good. Back to just marching the feet nice and gently in the middle. Take a few seconds out. And we're going to do those toe taps to the side. So tapping out to the side. Nice and wide to begin with. And then we're just going to start gently just slowing that pace slightly. Work within your comfortable range of movement. You've done all the hard work. Good, keep going for us, doing really well. And we're gonna do four more. So, four, three, a two, and a one. Very good, back to that march in the middle again. Slowing down that pace even more if you can. Remember, if you wanna keep your toes in contact with the floor, and just pedal through those heels and you can, if you can, a nice slow march now. Well done. And we're going to do some toe taps out in front, so little toe taps out in front. Toes onto the floor, heels off the floor again for me. Slowing that pace right down now. Very good. And again, we're going to do four more. Four, three, two, one. Very good. Bring those feet back down to the middle. Keeping the toes in contact with the floor, just pedaling for those heels. Or if you're doing the assisted standing version, you can just keep a nice slow march going. Remember though, bring that pace right down. Good. Right, we've got a couple of mobilisation exercises, so relax those arms down by the side. We're going to roll those shoulders back again. So roll those shoulders back to four, three, two, and one. Relax those arms down, give those arms a bit of a shake out. Good. Gripping onto the side of the chair if you're doing it seated or using the back of the chair for support. All right, we're going to do our side bends. So we're going to reach down to one side for four. And back up again. Three, two, and one. Back up to the middle again. We're going to reach down to the other side for four, three, two, and one. Very good. And just keep pedaling through those feet again for me. Excellent. Well done, everyone. Good. We're going to go back to those heel digs, but this time we're going to leave them out there for a second before we bring them back in. So heel dig out, leave the foot out there before you bring them back in. Slowing everything down now. It should all be lovely and comfortable. You can reduce that range of movement gradually. Good. And one more on each side. Good. And back to those pedaling with those feet. Nice and slowly now. And we're going to tap out to the side, so toe tap out, leave it out there for a second. And each time you tap out, you're just going to make those steps a little bit smaller each time until you're just doing tiny taps by your side. Just start making those steps smaller and smaller. Leave them there just for a second. And then back to the middle again. Good. One more on each side. Good. And just pedaling those feet nice and gently in the middle. Good. All right. So we're all going to come seated now, all right? And we're just going to finish off with some of those strengthening and stretching exercises. So make sure you're sitting right at the front of the chair for me. Just keeping those toes tapping away nice and gently with us now. And we're going to go for our first strengthening exercise. We're going to extend one of our legs out in front. So we're going to do some straight leg lifts. So Hands go on the supporting leg, you're going to sit nice and upright in your chair, 
try not to tip back as you do this and we're just going to raise that foot up in front and we're going to raise it up and back down two three four if you're feeling comfortable you can join us for another four five six remember to breathe as you're doing this one seven and a very good a wiggle of those feet you'll probably feel that tension in that thigh okay just in the top part of this side which is quite normal give those feet a bit more wiggle out as joe says make sure you're keeping that breathing if you kind of say the numbers out with us as we do it this you definitely know you're breathing then <laughs> he'll dig the other foot out hands on that opposite leg and again we're going to go for those raises so up and down two three Four, and if you can carry on, five, six, seven, and eight. Excellent, very good. And a little wiggle out of those feet. Let's give a little ease off, ease those thighs off. You can really feel it start to work in there. Absolutely. Good. And just keep those feet pedaling nice and gently. Good, we're gonna do one of the stretching exercises. We're gonna bring the hands up in front. You're gonna interlink those fingers in front, just pushing out. We're gonna stretch just across the top of the back. Again, a little bit of tension. Shouldn't be painful at all. You feel quite nice. <laughs> just hold that position for a little bit longer. Three, two, one, and relax. Give those arms a bit of a shake out. And we're gonna take the hands towards the back of the chair. So either to the base of the chair or onto the back of the chair. We're just going to ease that chest forward, feel that stretch across the front of that chest. It's our titanic pose as always. Good, just keep those feet just gently pedaling away. Hold that position, make sure you're breathing while doing this, don't hold your breath. And three, two, one, release off and just cross those arms just gently in front, just to ease that chest off. And you'll be pleased to know we're going to go back to one of our strengthening exercises for our legs. So again, make sure you're sitting on the front of the chair. Feet hip width apart. Just draw those feet a little bit underneath you so you've got a good base. And we're going to do a sit to stand, but we're not going to stand from the chair. All we're going to do is drive our heels into the floor on the count of three. We're just going to drive those heels down, feel those muscles, your quadriceps and maybe your glutes just tighten up. We're going to hold and then release, okay? So with us, we're going to sit, sit nice and tall. One, two, three, drive those heels into the floor. Two, three, and relax. Very good, give those feet a bit of a wiggle out. Again, we're gonna do seven more repetitions, but just do as many as you feel comfortable with. And again, sit, sit nice and tall. One, two, three, drive those heels down. Two, three, and relax. Remember to keep your breathing going. It's very easy to tense up and hold your breath while doing it. And again, so sit, sit nice and tall. One, two, three, drive those heels down. Two, three, and relax. F. Good, good. Hopefully you'll feel those muscles start to tighten up in your legs. We're going for number four now. So sit, sit nice and tall. One, two, three, drive those heels down. Two, three, and relax. Excellent, halfway through. We've got four more to go if you're feeling comfortable. If you want to rest there, you can just carry on tapping those toes until we finish the next four. So again, sit, sit nice and tall. One, two, three, drive those heels down. Two, three, and relax. Well done, just three more to go. Doing absolutely fantastically. Nearly there. <laughs> <laughs> and sit, sit nice and tall. One, two, three, drive those heels. Good, and relax, excellent. Just two more to go. So sit, sit nice and tall, and one, two, three, drive those heels down, feel those muscles tighten up, and relax, very good. We've just got one more to go now, absolutely fantastic. So sitting nice and tall, one, two, three, drive those heels into the floor, and relax, well done everyone. And a little wiggle of those feet again. Just gonna finish off with a couple of leg stretches, all right, so we're gonna heel dip one of our legs out in front, get it nice and straight like we did before. We're going to point our toes forwards to the wall opposite, sitting nice and upright, and we're going to flex forwards, keeping the back nice and neutral, feeling this stretch up the rear of the leg, okay, in the upper thigh area. Hold that position. Good. And again, should be a little bit of tension up the back of that leg, up the top part, but it shouldn't be painful at all. 
and a few more seconds and relax out very good and we're going to do those feet we're going to do exactly the same on the other leg so heel dig the other leg out toes pointing forward sit nice and upright flexing forwards from that point hold that position good feel that tension at the back of the leg a little bit longer for me doing really well don't forget to breathe absolutely <laughs> and three two one and relax out very good and we're just going to finish off with those ankle activators so find that spot on the floor you do heel toe on that same spot so heel and then toe good so hope you have a little bit more movement through those ankles now now they're nice and warm excellent and we're going to do three more so three two and one very good exactly the same with the other leg for me so heel toe on that same spot Very good, and again, we're just gonna do three more. So three, two, and one. Very good, all right, bring your feet down to rest. You can have a relax back into your chair now. It's very well earned. Excellent, well done everyone. So you've completed your seated and assisted standing circuit part of your program, done absolutely fantastically well done. We hope you enjoyed this, all right, and you'll come back and compete it again at a later date. Well done everyone. Well done, fantastic.